Bob Barker saying good night. Hey, everybody! On your mark. Get set. Go! Make those cakes and... These two teams are racing to make a cake and cover themselves with gas. Whoever bakes up six layers first will rise to the lead with 22 some bucks and control of the 400th episode of the greatest show on earth. It's more Super Sloppy Double Dare. It's Super Sloppy Double Dare. And now, here's the man responsible for all Careers, your super sloppy double dare host, Mark Summers. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh my goodness. Hi there. Welcome. Uh, it's Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course in the process, win eight fabulous prizes. We're in Orlando, Florida, at the Universal Studios facility, having a great time here. We made a big mess, and uh, towels got confused, but uh, they're drying off. And while they're doing that, let's meet our contestants starting to my right. They call themselves the Home Chickens, Tyler and Kim. Let's hear it for them. Yeah. Tyler's a, uh, a big basketball fan. Do you like uh, pro basketball as well? Yeah. What's your favorite team in the pros? Well, the Hawks. Yeah, they're doing all right. They're not, not having a great season so far, but uh, in fact, aren't, didn't they get eliminated uh, by the, uh, the playoffs? I don't know. They did. <laughs> and Kim wants to be an actress, and uh, do you have a favorite actress, Kim? Goldie Hawn. Very nice choice. All right. And uh, you're still a little gacked, but uh, you can dry yourself <laughs> off. You have $20. You won just by a teeny bit. But uh, Timo here to our left is a great competitor as well. The Untouchables, Jennifer and John. <laughs> Jennifer says she wants to be in the 1992 Olympics in what events? Um, in all of them. In all of them, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're a gymnastics uh -huh. expert, right? Yes. That's great. How, how young were you when you started? Um, four years old. That's terrific. And John also is into uh, basketball, football. Uh, which do you play better? Basketball, I basketball, guess. Basketball, do you? All right. No money yet. That'll change. Let's talk about the rules here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for how much, Harvey? Uh, quattro dinero, Mark. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and then they either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the untouchables. The home chickens have control of this $10 question. How many fingers does the host of couch potatoes have? Or you can dare them. Dare. All right, now we're $20. How many fingers does the host of couch potatoes have? Or you can double dare them back. Double Quickly before time. Double dare. Now we're 40. You're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Well, gee, I'm the host of Couch Potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The answer is ten, ladies and gentlemen. Ten. Let's go over and do a uh, physical challenge right over on this side of the board. <laughs> and I noticed that uh, Kim got exceedingly gacked, much more even than you did. So here's what we're going to do on uh, this time around. Can we get a towel? I want to make sure their uh, shoes are dried off so this, uh, this is all safe. And let me explain what we're going to do. We're going to make a salad over here. And, uh, gee, why don't you have a seat right underneath this little contraption over here? You get to do that. And on you, we're going to put a salad bowl. That goes over your head. Yeah, just have a seat, uh, Indian style, facing that direction. And what we have here is the largest Cuisinart I have ever seen in my entire life, and it sounds like this. Okay, now you come back over in this direction, Kim, because when I say go, what you have to do is take these moldy heads of lettuce and toss them. And I need you to toss four heads of lettuce and then four tomatoes. And those will be chopped up and sent down on your partner. And after that happens, you start running in this direction, okay? And when you see her pass you, that means you've gotten four and four in your bowl. And we need some salad dressing. And uh, Robin, what is the salad dressing that we have today? French. French. We have French up there. And once you're standing over here, your partner will pull on this, and if you get French dressing down on the lettuce and tomato, we will give you $40. You've got 30 seconds to do it. Four pieces of lettuce and four tomatoes. On your mark. Get set. Go! Get that going. A little too far. Keep tossing it. Uh, there's one. You need uh, three more. Too hard. Keep going. There's two. We need two more. We've got three. And now, where's the fourth one? Oh, too far. Keep going. We've got 18 seconds. Now for the tomatoes. Uh, not there. 
There's one. There's two. There's three. Come on. Oh, you missed. You need one more with 10 seconds. Yes, come on over. Because you've got seven seconds to do it. And if you pull on it, yes, they did it, ladies and gentlemen, with three seconds remaining. That's the way to play Super Sloppy Double Dare. Okay, we're going to clean up this mess and come back and play lots more right after we do this. Congratulations. Boy, are you guys slopped up. Well, let's go over here. Round one here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. The home chickens made a great homemade salad and in the process picked up an additional $40. They now have 60 in control of this question. On the Cosby Show, how many kids do Claire and Cliff Huxtable have? Bring you up to 70 or you could dare them. Five. Quickly before time runs out. Five. Five is right. Add another 10. You now have 70. Tyler and Kim doing a great job here. <laughs> Tell me, Tyler and Kim, in the nursery rhyme, Little Boy Blue, the sheep were in the meadow. But where was the cow? Mm. There. Now we're twenty dollars. Let's get on the board. The nursery rhyme is "Little Boy Blue." The sheep were in the meadow. But where was the cow? Double dare. Uh, do you know, or do you want to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Uh, audience, where was the cow? In the corn. In the corn. That is right. And let's move over here and do an, uh, an eighty-dollar physical challenge. Is that how much it's worth? Or is it 40? Who remembers? You go over here <laughs> and uh, put on the grill outfit and you put on the Fay Ray outfit. And as you do that, I'm going to come all the way over here and uh, show you an airplane. And uh, we have some balloons or some bombs and they're going to go right over here, okay? Now you want to send it over there. If you don't do it heavy enough or with enough strength, it'll only go about halfway. If you do it too hard, the balloon will come off, okay? Let me show you what that's like. Okay? You don't want that to happen. But what you do want to happen is to hit that target on the other side. So this goes right on your partner. Ready, Robin? Beware to catch this. And if that, boom, falls in the right place, it will break. You notice your partner has a pin hat on, okay? If you can break two of those balloons, and you can move your head any way that you'd like him, break two in 30 seconds, we'll give you $40. Go on and uh, hike up to our uh, bombs, up to the airplane. Two balloons broken in 30 seconds gives them $40. Otherwise, it goes to the other side. Good luck. On your mark. Get set, go! Here goes the first balloon, and you may want to use two hands. We're going to send it over, and will it pop? Oh, didn't quite hit the right target. They still have lots of time to do two, if they do it correctly. There's one. We have 19 seconds remaining, and can they pull it off? That's what we want to see. Here goes the second one. Yes, they did it with 12 seconds remaining. Nice job. Congratulations. Let's move over here and play some more super sloppy double there. Nice going there, Tyler and Kim. The home chickens now have $110, and it's mutant ninja turtles over here uh, with all that gack all over our uh, contestants. But we have another $10 question. If someone is called a regular Bob Akers, what does that mean? Does it mean they're a coward, they're a fat person, or they're a brilliant scholar? It's worth 10. There. Now worth 20. If someone is called a regular Bob Akers, what does that mean? They're a coward, they're a fat person, they're a brilliant scholar. C. C. They're a brilliant scholar. Is incorrect. They're a coward. Put $20 over here. Brings them up to $130. Nice try there, Jennifer. I think you had to do that at this point of the game. Carrying on with the home chickens. In the cast of Mr. Belvedere, if they found uh, themselves falling off the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, in what state would they drown? It's worth 10. California. You're right. That's where the San Francisco uh, Golden Gate Bridge is. 140 now. If the host of Funhouse hangs in a meat locker, losing heat at the rate of eight degrees an hour, how many degrees does he lose in three hours? It's worth 10. Quickly. 24? Yeah, of course, 24. Eight times three, simple uh, multiplication there. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. How long is the United States Senator's elected term of office? Bring you up to 160. There. Now we're twenty dollars. Let's get on the board, Untouchables. How long is the United States Senator's elected term of office? Two. Oh, it's six. Sorry oh, about that. Man. Twenty dollars more adds up to one seventy for the home chickens. They have a pretty big lead here today. But well, we're going to carry on and see what happens. Where would you find characters named Gopher, Tigger, and Piglet hanging out? Would you find them on the Love Boat, on Saturday Night Live, or in cartoons with Winnie the Pooh? Cartoons with Winnie the Pooh. You must be watching a lot of Saturday morning TV. You're right. Add another 10 to the home chickens. 180. Tell me, Tyler and Kim, what did the Japanese do to the United States on December 7th, 1941? 
bomb Pearl Harbor? Yes, that is absolutely right. Very true. Cool. $190 now. What color is Gumby? Gumby. Oh, green. Green, yes. $200 now for Tyler and Kim. And uh, we will carry on with another $10. No, we won't. That sound means it's the end of round one. And with $200, the home chickens have the lead. But you know what? I've seen people come from behind on the show numerous times. The Untouchables are far from out of this thing. Come back, and let's see who's going to the super sloppy double dare obstacle course right after we come back from this. Join us. It's round two on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound, that means the game is over. Have some brains over here going for $40 in control of round two. In this GAC vat, we have brains, and you must toss them over to your partners who must lift up the skulls. And if you catch two brains right there in the heads in um, any amount of time at all, actually, you'll get control of round two. Who will get control? We'll find out together. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! Toss your brains over there and get them open. And there's one already on the red side. Can they get another one right away? I don't see any on the blue side yet. The red side did it. The red side did it right away. You can stop right there. Forty dollars. You did it. Nice job. And Jennifer and John certainly needed that money. They have forty. Round two. It's twenty, forty, and eighty on a double dare. So for twenty dollars, Jennifer and John, who wrote the book called The Hobbit? It's worth twenty dollars. Or you can dare them. Dare. Now worth 40. Who wrote the book called The Hobbit? Double dare. Now worth 80, or are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. It was J.R.R. Tolkien. You probably just read that book not too long ago, and we have an $80 physical challenge, which certainly tightened things up. Why don't you both come right over here, because we're going to put some hands on you, and this hand is going to go on your head, and we're also going to put some goggles on, and Robin will suit you up with another hand. And notice, folks, we have some balloons. Let's count them together, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, You see, that kills the time so they can put those uh, hands on their heads, and uh, simply for that reason. What we're going to do is do a high five and have both of our contestants lined up uh, against uh, these balloons and if they can pop all 12 balloons in 15 seconds or less we will give them eighty dollars otherwise the money goes to the other team they certainly need this money right now to tighten things up and you can work together popping them or you can start on one end and work down the other way whatever you want to do but we're looking for eighty dollars on your mark get set go here they go popping those things and work together can they do it let's see if they can get it down i'm getting closer to the Okay. My goodness. I just got clobbered. $80 goes over here to the home chickens. And uh, that is a dangerous physical challenge, folks. Let me tell you, because the host gets clobbered every time. Huh? You need a towel? There you go. You deserve that much more than I do. And uh, Tyler and Kim now have $280. Nice try there, gang. And here's your next question. What country sent the first woman into space? Was it the United States, the Soviet Union, or Germany? Dare. Now worth $40. What country sent the first woman into space? The U.S., the USSR, or Germany? Soviet Union. You are right. Add $40. Brings you up to 80. Good job there. Okay, Jennifer and John. Who's the young singer who recently released an album called Hold an Old Friend's Hand? Tiffany. You have $100. <laughs> oh. Tell me, Jennifer and John. What famous black and white faced rodent with round ears starred in the old cartoon Steamboat Willie? There. Now worth $40. What famous black and white faced rodent with round ears starred in the old cartoon Steamboat Willie? Would bring you to 320, or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 80, or are you going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Do you, know, you think you know who it was, John? Who was it? Mickey Mouse. Yeah, you should have said Mickey Mouse. That was the answer. We have an $80 physical challenge down here for Jennifer and John. And take a look at our water fountain. You will notice that this water fountain, why don't you show them, Dave? can either go that far or you can go this far. It's up to you. You can, <laughs> you can control uh, the distance. Who would like to do that? Uh, you want to do that? You go, 
you'll catch you'll go in that direction then robin is going to put this cup on john and what you're going to do is fill it where past the line now when we say go you're going to start right here with your toes to this line but after we do say go you can move forward you can move backward whatever you want you can uh, control how far or how short that goes fill it past the line in 20 seconds gives you 80 dollars certainly tightens up the game on your mark get set go here they go started going in and they want to Go past the line, it's worth $80. You want to do it a little easier than that. Yeah, you've got the right idea, but you've got to get it down just a teeny bit. Move forward, you've got to move back. We are down to about seven seconds, and they're having a hard time filling it past the line today. Hard time finding the range today. Let's put 80 over there, brings them up to 360. And often, uh, that does happen here. We've seen it done about half the amount of the time we've done it, and uh, that sound means it's the end of the game with $360. The home chickens have won today's game. Well, you guys got a lot of money. That's $180 a piece and a trip to the super sloppy Double Dare optical course. Jennifer and John, you made a valiant try come back. Uh, not quite there, but you were great contestants. $50 a piece. And Harvey, since they were so nice, why don't we give them something special today, okay? All right, your hostly person will have them with a Nintendo power set. They'll go home with the exciting power pad. You and your friends will run, skip, and jump your way to victory. And it's only from Nintendo. And also we'll give them a bubble yum bubble gum full of the big delicious taste that bombs your buds with flavor. It'll pop you non-stop. Bubble Yum keeps it popping. We're coming back with the messiest minute in television. The obstacle course is next. I'm here with Tyler and Kim on the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. For some reason, we have another crazy audience here. They've asked me, folks, I don't, I don't really want to do these things, but they want to see Elvis. So uh, <laughs> why do you want to see this is the question. So we'll do this one like Elvis. It goes something like this, baby. What you're going to do is you're going to hang on right over here. And you're going to get yourself some jelly donuts. If you can go all the way over to the other side there, you get that flag and you win this, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That's why he's the king. More fun from Aviva. Aviva Rebound, unbelievable bounce back power. Makes Rebound incredibly fun. Training for all your favorite sports. Aviva, the way to play. And then Kim gets this one. It's called the Big Gulp. And you want to go up that tongue and down this twisty slide and into this gack with, uh, ooh, fish. And, ooh, this is disgusting. But don't let that slow you down. Stand up, grab the flag, pass it over to your partner. And, Harvey, what's the prize on number two? It's Con Air Phones, Prima Series telephones and telephone answering machines. State-of-the-art designs match with features that today's active consumers look for. Con Air Phone quality telecommunications. Back to number two for Tyler, and or number three, actually. This is a second obstacle, and what you're going to do is walk in this direction. You want to go through that area, and as you do that, you'll grab that flag. Now, before you get to the end, you can pass that flag to Kim, and you can also win this. The Lone Star sing Odeon makes you a one-man recording studio. Whether you sing, rap, or shout, sing along with your favorite hit, sing Odeon by Lone Star. Kim's going to take a bath right here on national television. She's going to go up these steps and into the bathtub. She'll sink down, but then you'll want to jump up and grab that flag. And once you do that, you'll win what, Harvey? Coyote's All-Terrain Bike Mark from Bicycle Corporation of America. A great bike with 10 speeds to take you anywhere on road or off. Coyote, America's bike. If I said to this audience, how many people would like to demonstrate an obstacle? Let me see the hands of the people all over the place, okay? Now, how many would like to get messy and do it at the same time, huh? Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Should we pick a man or a lady? That's the question. This person right over here. Why don't you come over here and, uh, yes, okay. Here's what you're going to do. What's your name? Heidi. Heidi, how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. What I'm going to ask you to do is to jump in this boat and go to the other side. If you get all gacked up, I'll give you a whole outfit, okay? Pants, shirt, everything. Jump in there and demonstrate to these folks how it works. Jump in and go all the way across. Boy, she's doing a great job. Come on over here and demonstrate how it works. Boy, she demonstrated it. And uh, Heidi, we'll give her a t-shirt, some uh, pants, some Reeboks, and uh, what will they win if they do this right? There you go. All right, Mark, we'll give them a $400 KB gift certificate. Where do you go to find great toys? KB Toy Stores. And where do you go to find KB Toy Stores? Your nearest shopping mall, KB America's Toy Store. She came that close. Do you folks have any questions? No. Nope. How about you? No. All right, you're going to go all the way up the ladder and down to the ant farm. As you crawl over in this direction, you'll find the flag up on top. Before you come out past that flag, you'll pick up time and you'll pick this up. The Baldwin Explorer Portable MIDI Electronic Keyboard with 16 solo voices, 16 automatic rhythms, and built-in stereo speakers from Baldwin Piano and Organ Company. Seven is the doggy door. You must crawl underneath that doggy door and over here where the bowl of food is. And inside that bowl of food, we have Gak. And we also have a flag. Find that flag quickly. Pass it quickly and win this quickly. This is easy.
You want to get on there and you can uh, lay there if you like, or you can crawl all the way over here where this flag is. If you have it in your hand in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, what's the grand prize today? Sixty seconds on the clock, audience cheer on. I'm looking for a winner. On your mark. Get set, go! Provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Deer gets a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Deer. This is your announcer, Harvey Sand. Go for it. Reptile.